My name is Roger, I work for Wilmot Dixon Construction. Um, I'm a construction manager overseeing the Brent Indian Community Centre project here in Brent. There was an existing community centre here, so we've demolished that and then we are building a brand new community centre for all the local residents along with 29 new homes as well. So the community centre is on the ground floor and then we've got the homes above. It's a concrete frame building designed to try and blend in with the local surroundings and provide a new space for the community to be able to outreach to local people in need and give something back to the people that live in the area. My name is Raju Mistri. I've been with Brent Indian Community Centre since 1978. Clearly our building needed a bit of redevelopment, mainly because the insulation was very poor, there's no interior good lighting, the ambience was extremely poor. So hence we are looking forward to the new development. For us, it's an opportunity to make sure that we take in the views of the local community, bring their views into the things that we are providing. Logistics is probably our biggest challenge here. The site is the size of the building, that is the footprint. So we have to really think outside the box about where we put things, getting materials only delivered as and when we need it. So yeah, all the supply chain partners are kind of quite engaged with making sure that things only get delivered exactly when they're needed. And it's nice that we're working with a customer that is really engaged and emotional investment in what we're doing. And it's nice to have that personal approach to it rather than it just being some faceless corporation maybe. It's, um, there's real people behind it and it gives us a great why behind what we're doing. Now with the new site, new building, interior, new decoration, people like to come to new places and therefore using it for their needs will help them to maintain this long-term relationship and leave a long-term legacy for them. So we do lots of outdoor trips, coach trips for them to go and visit places that they would never think about. We also run computer classes, phone and tablet classes for the elderly. And we also organize once a month luncheons for them. So all of those things are keeping the community together and keep coming back for more. <laughs> so yeah, looking forward to the new building very much so. For them to have a safe, usable space, just be able to engage the local community and get them under one roof to you know, keep that community alive basically, because without it, everyone would be very separate. This is a space where everyone can come together and be one.